I'm Lane Med and I represent the Agriculture FFA program here at Cass Grand Union High School. Um, hi, my name is Canyon Tail. I'm a sophomore at Union. I am the vice president of the FFA program here at, in Cass Grand. Once you're enrolled in the Agriculture Ag Education program, you're automatically enrolled in the FFA. Uh, the FFA is a national FFA organization. Here at the Cass Grand FFA, we uh, participate in many activities. Um, we focus on plant-based and livestock knowledge. Um, I've learned a lot of skills. I've learned how to uh, process turkeys, chickens, all sorts of stuff um, at the land lab and I've been able to um, raise chickens from chicks up and I've been able to sell eggs to others and we have a great egg program here too. Uh, my brother was here a year before me and uh, he's, he had nothing but great things to say about the agriculture education program. I was really interested and I'm glad I did it. Uh, what made me want to join was I knew my friends were going to do it and I was brought up in a country style home and um, my parents uh, have always raised me country style so I wanted to do it. I thought it was a good idea and I've made so many friends doing it. My favorite part of the program is uh, getting here and working in the welding shop. One of my personal favorite things are uh, the land lab. Every year we get to um, raise our turkeys from baby up and we give them to homeless people and people who aren't, um, they don't get paid enough to have a Thanksgiving dinner. We get to do all the processing and everything for them. So we come here and we learn the greenhouse, we learn how to raise crops, uh, worked out in the garden, I know how to start my own garden. My plans after um, high school, I want to go to vet veterinary school and pursue my dreams in that. And from the opportunities I've gotten here, I've been able to learn so much. So uh, when I graduate, I plan on working as a pipeline welder uh, here at the school. I've learned so much in the welding shop. Um, in the program, for our welding program, we get to have our OSHA 10 and we get to do all of our online experience and then we can get our OSHA 10 card. So here we have a livestock lab where we give our students the opportunity to raise animals for the fair. We have uh, facilities for pigs, veals, and uh, goats and sheep. I've been uh, showing uh, pigs at our local county fair for six years now. Um, man, it's taught me so much. Uh, I've learned everything from money man management to time management. Um, and it's always a blast. I mean, I've never had a bad year. Yeah, and at the end of the year, you get a big check. So it's in all our produce, get, we sell it to our local creative cafe. For people who want to join, I'd say it's definitely a good idea. I love being here. Um, our teacher has been great for me. All I want to do is ag and welding, that's all. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend it here. Um, it's, more, it's more than if you want a future in agriculture. Uh, like I said, you learn a lot about leadership. You learn a lot of skills that you wouldn't in any other cl or club or organization here. We definitely could raise our own firm from the skills we've learned. <laughs> uh, my name's Trip Breitkreitz. Um, I'm in auto, this year I'm in auto two and most of this year we're working on a lot of suspension components and looking at how the entire suspension works together with the vehicle as well as the braking systems. So a lot more of the technical part of the car is rather than you know just how to maintain it. I think my favorite part of it has definitely been that it's a lot of hands-on work. That's the best way that I learn is through hands-on. A couple of it, you know, but you've got to read a couple things here and there to figure out the ideology of it, but everything else is very hands-on. You learn by doing it and that's a, big way that I learned. Yeah, I've been, um, I started drag racing when I was three, um, and ever since then I've just slowly progressed through the ranks of drag racing. I crew on an NHRA funny car team right now for Hunter Jones. I've always been, like, I've always been interested in anything automotive, anything with wheels I do like. So I figured why not go and learn about it in school and get it on my transcript and take a step forward into maybe going into that as a career, being able to put this as a stepping stone into going into a trade school that's more automotive related. Part of uh, Skills USA, so that's, they put on a couple competitions here and there throughout the state. Not only that, we did get to go last year to a leadership conference up north in Williams. Got to go there and learn about a lot about the more of the leadership side of everything and how to work with a bunch of different people. It, it was very cool. Coming from racing, I've known a lot of the things about the engine and the inside of the motor and all of that, the internal workings of the car, but suspension and everything has never been really something that I've gotten really looked into. So being able to look into it now, especially through the class with someone there to help me along and figure out, you know, if 
I don't know what this part is, then they tell me what it is and tell me how it works. So I've definitely learned a whole lot about suspension and the workings, which is definitely a very essential part of the car. I know we, um, earlier this year, at the beginning of the school year, we did, we were working on an OSHA certification. And also at the end of last year, I also tested out of one of the first um, ASE certifications, which is something that you're gonna need to be able to work into a dealership. So to be able to knock those out of the way right now while I'm still, at the time, a sophomore in high school and now being a junior, and I can slowly work on knocking all those out of the way. So by the time I'm ready to go into the workforce, I'm already prepared and ready to go. Definitely, the, the, the facilities here are one, I, I'd say, the best in Casa Grande. I mean, we have multiple lifts, we have tire rope, tire machines, we have any tool really that we need to us at our disposal and Courtney is a great teacher. He helps us work along with us. He, he came from the trades himself so he understands what it's really like working in the real world so he can apply not only the teaching aspect but what it's actually going to be like when you go out in the field. So it's definitely been a great thing to have Courtney there along with us. I would definitely say to take the program, not even if you're looking to go into an automotive field, but it never hurts to know about cars. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna eventually end up having a car at some point in your life, and at least if you know how to change a tire and do your own oil, and just the basic, simple maintenance things, so you can do those on yourself rather than going and spending a bunch of money at a dealership. Always understanding how the things that you have work as well it makes you appreciate them a lot more to see what goes into them. So you, I definitely recommend this to anyone coming into high school to take at least at least a year of the automotive program. Absolutely. Hi, my name is Merlin D'Souza. I'm a senior now at Casa Grande Union High School. So my name is Genevieve Hayes. I'm a senior at Casa Grande Union High School, and I'm currently enrolled in the Biotechnology 4 program. So I was originally attracted because you get to work in a lab at a high school environment, and I thought that was so crazy to get to do. Um, but mostly because my brother did the engineering program, and he kind of was like, oh, there's this amazing biotech program. You like science, and they do a lot of that. And so it's kind of why I ended up picking biotech. It's labeled biotech Technology, but biotechnology has so many applications in different branches of science, such as microbiology, forensic science, and um, DNA extraction and everything. So you kind of get a broad overview of all the fields of science, which is something that I really enjoy. Um, with Biotech 4 specifically, we work a lot with bacteria and developing um, mature laboratory skills so that when we graduate, we can eventually use those skills to use. So actually, I want to build off the skills that I learned here in Biotech. Um, so I'm going to use that to push forward in my path of being a neonatologist. So I want to work with premature babies and do research on the side. So a lot of that kind of skills that I developed here in high school is what I'm going to use in my research field. Science is a really great subject because it tells you a little bit about the universe, a little bit about the human species. So we have HOSA, which stands for Health Occupation Students of America. So it's this organization that's dedicated towards ensuring that students can practice what kind of fields they want to go into. So they have medical reading, medical terminology, they have laboratory skills, um, they have public speaking, human development tests, so there's a whole variety of things. So one thing that drew me in was how engaging the course was. Um, I thought it was very unique that we get to do hands-on projects. You know, we're not just learning from books, we're not just learning from lectures, we're learning from experience. So we have the base certification, which is at the end of our fourth year. So we're actually getting ready to take that right now. Um, it's it's kind of nerve-wracking. But it's the chance so that as immediately any lab we go to will recognize our certification and know that we are accredited and they can hire us on the spot. I hope to become a scientific researcher um, for microbiology. Um, it can stem from blood tests to um, examining blood tests, but I'm also interested in vaccinations. Um, not only because of the coronavirus, it definitely brought to light a lot of issues that need to be solved, um, but microbiology, um, I don't know, it just has a lot of potential for helping. So actually I think a lot of the skills that um, I learned here kind of made me ready for the application process and for um, I hope the rigors of Harvard and I know that there's a lot of laboratory work and internships that you can take on day one so if I get this base certification and I know all of these skills um, I think that'll put me one step ahead in the eyes of the professors so that they know that hey I can work under them learn from them but I also have the skills that I used from high school so I think that's kind of like what's making me excited about going to a university like that coming from all that I got from biotech. If you do have 
just a small passion for science. If you think it's something that you would like to do in the future, I just say join because you get to, to see all the opportunities of science, you get to explore the opportunities, and you get to grow as a person to decide who you want to be. So my name is Leah, um, Leah Marler. I am a part of this program. I've been in the program for three years. My name is Isaac Scott. This is uh, the construction tech program, and I've been in the program for four years. I, I joined the class on accident, honestly, because I, I was in PE. And so it was like a, a, a football class, and I wasn't on the, the PE roster freshman year. And so I just stayed in here. And then after the first year, I was hooked because freshman year, he took me to competition for some reason. He thought that I could do it. And so he took me to competition and it just hooked me. I took the class on a whim because they told me my freshman year that it would give me a math credit. So I was like, I'm gonna take this class for a math credit. And then it was way more than a math credit. So I was like, I'm gonna stick with this. Like, this is something that I wanna do. There's like carpentry, masonry. We've learned electrical. We've learned how to do a lot of things, really. Once I got more involved, it's kind of like a family type setting. So it's just like, it's it's energy that you want to surround yourself with. And WAG pushed us a lot to do better. So I was like, this is cool. Like, I want to I wanna do this. We built these like tables freshman year. Like, they were really simple, but they were pretty cool. And like, they had this, uh, this like tile over it. But the rest of it was uh, wood. And there was like a, like a little like grill out part that was on the bottom and had a like a little shelf and I thought that was pretty cool. I feel like more than anything, like yeah, I have gotten the skills, but I've also learned a lot about leadership and like communicating and just like things that make you like not necessarily like a stronger worker, but like a stronger leader. So I want to be a leader of some type. I'm thinking about a couple schools that have uh, construction managing classes, you know, and engineering classes that are like tied together. It takes a special kind of person to stay in this class and it takes a special kind of girl to stay in this class because you have to be able to get in with guys if that makes sense. We want as many girls as possible and there's tons of scholarships out there for girls available through this program. There's a whole organization, it's called AWIC, American Women in Construction, and they, they want you. Skills USA, it's cool because we have like our own little club within the classroom, so we do. We were doing like meetings, and we have our president, which is Isaac. And we go and we plan events for ourselves so that we can get out there. We manage the money throughout the four classes that I've taken with Mr. Wagner. I have gotten my OSHA 10, my OSHA 30, my NCCR, and we are currently working on our CAC Industrial Carpentry Certificate. He just he like he makes sure that we're all safe, like at the end of it. It just feels like he takes care of us. Well, first I would tell them not to be intimidated by Mr. Wagner. He's a very scary man at first, but he has a big heart. So you're gonna get into this class and you're gonna say, oh, it's just like shop, but it's not shop. We do a lot more. We take tests, we use our brains. Uh, it's a lot of collaborative work. You know, it, you're gonna make a lot of friends. Um, you're gonna learn a lot. And like I said before, it's a lot of opportunity within itself, it's just a matter of what you make it. If you apply yourself, like it's a great program to be in. Hello there, my name is Forrest Green. This is my third year in culinary, which means it's my internship year. Now, this is the last year I'm gonna be in culinary as I'm a senior, and we offer this program starting your sophomore year. Now, I chose culinary just because I wanted to get into it, because for home experience and for the workplace as well, you know, I was interested in becoming a cook at the time. And it's really just a great thing to try out and you'll learn skills that be so valuable in all areas of your life. All right, so when you're actually in the program, there's gonna be a mix between book learning and hands-on learning. So we'll have some days where we're in the lab and that's where we're cooking. And that's when you really get your chance to like do you and prove what you know and experiment a little bit. But then we also have those days where we're studying and we're hitting the books and that's just as important because then we're learning safety procedures and food concepts that when you learn those first, it's gonna help you so much later on. Just wanting to expand my personal skill set, and um, I just say culinary is such a great thing to get involved in because anybody can apply it to their lives and it can be useful. Not only are you going to be cooking and you can learn how to cook different things for yourself at home and you can save money in the future. I feel like so many people today rely on restaurants or pre-made meals and stuff like that, 
but when you really get hands-on, you see it's not as hard as you think. It can be intimidating at first, but you just build your confidence the more and more you do it. And you also learn so many skills that can be applied to other areas in your life, such as you know communication, patience, um, and just trial and error, learning how to fix your mistakes and move on and learn from them. My favorite thing I've done in culinary was probably a field trip we took to the Phoenix Farmer's Market. Now this was really cool because we went with the whole class and we got to actually meet a lot of people in the industry. It was really cool being able to go to a farmer's market that was in Phoenix because it was so big and there's just so many people there. And CCAP, which is um, the organization that kind of sponsors the program, they have opportunities for scholarships and for volunteer stuff like that and even paid uh, volunteers. So FCCLA stands for Future Car Career and Community Leaders of America and that's our student organization that sponsors the program. Now I've actually had a lot of opportunities through FCCLA such as like leadership conferences and being able to go to competitions. But I plan on using culinary just as a personal foundation for cooking for myself and also this since my junior year, I've been working at a fast food place um, called Chick-fil-A and it's been very valuable, the skills I've learned in culinary, because not only do we learn you know, how to make uh, pizza and biscuits and uh, French omelets and all these stuff that you might want to eat yourself, we also learn so many technical skills and trade terms that are just useful in the industry. This class actually helped me get a promotion at Chick-fil-A because I learned ServeSafe and I got my ServeSafe certification through here. And at Chick-fil-A, I needed a serve safe uh, manager certification, which is a step above what this class gave me. But it was so much easier to make that uh, gap and that transition with, because I already had the foundation from this class. If you like food, join the program because it, you're going to get to enjoy some good food. You're going to get to hang out with really cool people. The teachers are great. They're helpful. There really is no downside. My name is Emily Henderson. I'm a senior intern here at the Early Childhood Education Program. Hi, my name is Myla. This is my second year of taking the child care class. I took this class because I enjoy being around children and I wanted to learn more about the development of kids. One of the more challenging parts of this program is definitely planning their lessons. You have to do something that will be fun and engage the children, but will also inspire their learning. When taking this class, you have one-on-one -on -one time with each child and you get to pick a buddy. The reason why this class helps me in the future is because I want to become a fifth grade teacher when I grow up. The main things that we try to do here are prepare the children for kindergarten. We want them to learn their numbers and their colors and their shapes. Typically we'll have a graduation where students will get a little cap and gown and they'll be handed their certificate from completing their preschool years. One of my favorite parts of this program are watching how the children develop and improve throughout the year. You watch them going from not knowing how to write their name or identify any colors to knowing all their colors, letters, and being able to write their name. In your first year of taking this class, you get your CPR certification and your first aid. And your second year, you get your food handlers. As a part of the FCCLA club, you'll have lots of opportunities to attend leadership conferences and competitions. Another part of the club is that it gives you lots of opportunities to grow as a leader in your community. Depending on which year you are in, you will have a lot of different responsibilities. First year students have less responsibilities because they're just starting out and they're new to the program. You also need to get a TB test to ensure the safety of the students. So last year I had a buddy, his name was Josiah, and he was always the active person and he would always be running around the classrooms and the playgrounds. And he was a character. Yeah. <laughs> when your first year is happening, you'll mainly play with students, supervise them in their centers, and when they're on the playground. Second year students will take on more responsibilities. They get their food handler certification and can start giving meals and snacks to the children. Before taking this class, I wasn't as patient, but after I learned that patience is something like important because like without it, it's hard to enjoy your time while being here because sometimes the kids aren't gonna listen or sometimes it's like challenging to try to get them to do what they're supposed to, but when you have patience, it just makes everything go easier. Once you're in your third year, you'll be an intern. Once you're an intern, you start taking on more of a leadership position. You will help the teachers with what they need. You'll plan more lessons. You also might have to wash laundry or bed sheets for when they have their nap time. 
I want to be a teacher someday, so when I found out about this class, it sounded like a really good opportunity to get a head start on that. This program is helpful for anyone, even if you don't want to be a teacher like me, because someday if you wanted to have kids, or if you wanted to be around kids, or even if you're just around your friends' kids, it really helps you prepare for how to deal with them, how to help keep them calm, help keep them entertained, and how to just help foster their learning and their growth. My favorite Avengers are Hulk because he can smash things. Alani because he's just my best buddy. Uh, I'm Garrick. I'm a senior at Casa Grande Union High School's STEM Academy. I'm in the engineering pathway. From a very young age, I was always like, I always loved playing with Legos, I always liked building stuff. It was always really fun to me to do that kind of stuff. So as soon as I learned what an engineer was, I was like, I want to do that. I get to, you know, I get to build stuff and solve problems and do all the things I like to do. The engineering curriculum ranges from really the basics of engineering to some of the more advanced, more, I guess, project-based, more technical skills. When you start off, you start off with uh, this program called SolidWorks, and that's like the standard, or the industry standard for computer design. Working on projects and modeling them before you go out and build them, and by the end of the semester, you get a chance to uh, take the certification test. Now that you know that you can make things on a computer, now you start learning how to take those and turn them into something real. You learn all the processes of how to manufacture things, you learn all of the different uh, the ways of building things, you learn how to use all the tools. Yeah, we started building circuits, uh, we started working with a microcontroller board called an Arduino that's usually used for like prototyping. Um, I would like to go into the space industry after, after I get my degree, I would like to go into space. Uh, my main focus that I, my main focus that I want to do is go into uh, like telecommunications. I would also like to look into doing uh, computer processing. That's something that's also really interesting to me. Great. So the SETS Club is the Students for the Exploration and Development of Space, which is a club, it's a university level club that focuses on space projects. We're actually working on a radio telescope right now, which is a telescope that can see past the sun because the sun is kind of bright uh, but it doesn't emit a whole lot of radio uh, light so we can look kind of around the sun and past the sun. This course has definitely prepared me for some of the stuff in college. What we've done in the past is we've taken our rocket designs, we put them in the software and then we can simulate how the rocket will fly because most of us have taken calculus by now. We can look at that and apply what we've learned in that class to our rocket buildings. Engineering is, it's not easy. <laughs> uh, over four years, I can tell you, it's a lot of struggle and a lot of frustration, but it's the good kind of struggle and the good kind of frustration. It's the kind that will drive you to go further. It's the kind that you will sit down, look at a problem for two and a half hours and work your way through it. It's, it's for those who uh, love math and science and they want to, they want to change. They want to change something. Just the one thing I've learned is that engineering is, you're never done with a project, you're always constantly improving on it. I'm Lily Reed, I'm VP of Finance for DECA at Casa Grande Union. Um, well, I'm in charge of some of the finances. There's another person that also helps with it, but I manage the bookstore, so like requisitions and payments. Registration, freshman year, I didn't know what to do for a second elective, and there was a booth for DECA, and the current president at the time, Raul, talked me into doing DECA. I like all of the different opportunities and all of the different things that we have, like Black Shack, Union Station, the DECA store, the print press. I would say personal finance is probably the best in learning about like financial literacy because we've learned like about taxes and credit and all that stuff and we learn how to manage it and budget and 
and I think that's the most helpful. After taking an exam at the end of the year, if you pass it, you can become marketing certified. Um, that could be helpful on like job applications. And also, I, you can get a food handler's card from working in the DECA store, which can be also good on applications. And all the students who enroll in marketing are a part of DECA. Yeah, working in the DECA store, you learn how to use a cash register to make change with cash. Um, do mental math to do it. <laughs> we sell union merchandise like t-shirts, cups, sunglasses, hats, hat and t-shirt combos. Um, and then in the DECA store we sell snacks and food and for the print press that's how we make the t-shirts to sell at football games. We do lots of fundraisers and volunteer work and we go on trips and conferences and competitions. Last year we went to Washington DC. Um, well if you do good then you get a spot at International. And if you do good at International, I think you get like scholarships and stuff. For the competition, you get like a role play and you get like 10 minutes to write down any notes or what you want to say. So it's just like sitting like across from like one or two people. If, like, let's say they told you to sell an item, you'd have to, like, market it to them and try to get them to buy it. Okay, so you can apply whenever you're a senior to get a state scholarship, and they give out quite a bit, I would say. And then for nationals, they give out about $250,000 in scholarships, which you can apply for as well when you're senior. Well, we have the plaque shack, and so for that, if like one of the, let's say like the football team made a purchase for like MVP, most improved. We would put the student's name down on a plaque and then give it to football to distribute. Well, next year we wanna run for chapter president and then po like possibly state, like a state position. I wanna go to a university and get either a master's or doctor and become a neonatal nurse practitioner.